All right, guys, this is wad number two for Kentucky Anna's Fittest. Against a 10 minute running clock, you will complete Fran, and then with the remaining time, you will establish your one rep max clean and jerk. This will be scored as two events. One event will be your Fran time, and then the next event will be uh, whatever you hit for that clean and jerk. So let's go ahead and talk about Fran. You guys should know the rep scheme for Fran 21, 15, 9 of thrusters and pull ups, 75 for ladies, 95 for guys. On this thruster, you can power clean or squat clean. She's gonna go ahead and power, oh she squat cleans there, fires out, that's a good rep, good. Uh, give me a, a, a good rep here, but go ahead and stumble at the top. Something else that's a good rep, gets the hip crease below the knee, stumbles at the top a little bit, but regains uh, before she comes down, that is a good rep. And let's go ahead and talk about uh, some no reps. No reps here would be uh, not getting the hip crease below the knee. So the hip crease didn't get below the knee, fires up, but that's still a no rep. Another no rep would be uh, re-dipping on the way to the top. Go ahead. Okay, so that's kind of two no reps there. Stopped in the middle and then re-dipped. Um, so let's go ahead and just clarify that a little bit more. Um, go ahead and give me full lockout this time, but just stop in the middle. So squat, stop, and then press out. Something else is a no rep will be stopping and then push pressing. That's two different movements. That's a front squat and a push press. And then what we tried to show that first time would just be doing a thruster, but on the way up, re-dipping. So let's try that one more time. Okay, so she re-dipped like a jerk on the way to the top. That is not a good rep. That would be a no rep. Okay, you can go and set that barbell down. After her thrusters for 21, she's going to move over to the pull-up bar. Let me get on the other side of you first. On her pull-ups, you can butterfly, strict, kip, whichever method allows you to get that chin all the way above the bar. So she's just going to kip right now. If you want to, you can butterfly as well. Judge will be standing off to the side just to check to make sure that you are uh, fully clearing the bar and giving full extension at the bottom. Uh, you can use a reverse grip as well. So can you go ahead and give me a reverse grip pull up? That's still a good rep, but you just cannot use an underhand grip. We are not going to allow chin ups in this wad. So no chin ups. This will be a chin up here, underhand grip. Chin above the bar at the top, that's a no rep. Okay, so hands overhand or reverse grip, chin above the bar at the top, and full extension at the bottom. Uh, so, as soon as she's done with Fran, she would come back over to her barbell. And we don't have the plates setting out today, but we'll have a total of uh, 400 pounds for females, because we'll be using ladies bars, and uh, 410 pounds for males. Uh, these plates will be stacked by these cones. That's something else to point out. We'll have these sections taped off day of the competition, um, but today we're just representing the space that you'll have uh, with these cones. So you'll have plates stacked. Uh, you'll have that time to um, take your plates off if you need to or load whatever weight uh, you may need to use. Uh, whenever you go for your clean and jerk attempts, they do need to be collared. So let's talk about clean and jerks. On clean and jerks, you can power clean and jerk. So just give me a power clean and a split jerk this time. Good, go and recover. That's a good rep. You can squat clean and jerk. Good, recover. Make sure full recovery at the top. Uh, give your judge a moment to say good rep before you come down. Things that, uh, or actually other things that count as reps uh, would include um, a clean and a push jerk. So basically, as long as she's getting it from ground to overhead, that's all we're looking for, okay? Um, full lockout at the top, good stabilization. Go ahead and give me a clean and a jerk, but bring that bar down a little bit too quick. So one of the big things we want you guys to watch out for is if you go for a clean and then you jerk and get under it well, but you bring that barbell down before you stand all the way up, that's gonna be a no rep. Make sure you regain control, full extension at the top in order to complete that movement. Good. All right, guys, so that is wad number two and three, essentially. Remember, it will be scored as two events against a 10-minute running clock, complete Fran, and then establish a one rep max uh, clean and jerk. There will be some other details. Uh, just a few other things to explain will be if the athlete doesn't completely finish um, Fran, 
Then a second will be added uh, beyond 10 minutes for every rep not completed. And if you don't successfully complete a clean and jerk, then your score for the clean and jerk will simply be zero pounds.